If we look at the land use of this country, 28 million hectare is currently used for the wildlife industry. Compared to under government protected area, 7.5 million. So it's about three times. Currently we have about 10,000 game ranches, extensive game ranches, fairly big, some of them up to, to uh, 40,000 hectares. The numbers of game in South Africa on the private ranches exceeds all the national parks game. The national parks games accrued to about five and a half million, but 16 million heads of game, wild game, are currently found on game ranches. If I look at the yield, and all I'm looking at is return on capital, in the arid area of the country, on a conventional grassland, a hunting ranches could give me a 10.3%. Compare that to cattle farming on a grassland is only 4.8%. If I look at cattle farming in the low field, the return on capital is 0.9% versus 3% for game ranching. If I then go and I combine my hunting ranches with uh, uh, ecotourism, immediately it jumps from a 3% to a 10.9% or to a 13% in the bush field. If we go further and I add to the plains games, the six or seven esoteric species, buffalo, elephant, etc., at a 500 hectare farm, I would, if I have buffalo, have a return on investment of 19.5%. Uh, and if I go in buffalo ranching alone in a low felt, I would have 21.4%. If I look at the, the contribution of the wildlife industry to our country's GDP, it now accrues to 9 billion rand per annum. That makes us, as an agricultural commodity, the fifth largest in this country, where chicken accrues about 30 billion, uh, followed by red meat, uh, uh, fruit exports, and grain, etc. So we're bigger than sugar and milk and all the others. So as an as a industry uh, that's sustainable, it shows that it can last.